So Suzanne Venker is a social critic who wrote this column on foxnews.com um, basically saying that marriage is isn't happening as often in the US because women are no longer women, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Men just can't handle competing with these uh, driven women. They just want women to stay in the kitchen and do what they used to do. Yeah, no, babies. it's true. W women are uh, no longer women. They're usually then they're now either transgendered or they are goats. That's those those are two leading things that they are from what I understand. Now, okay. as we said in an earlier uh, segment, you know, it the column was both insulting to men and women uh, because uh -huh. it made men seem like they're weak and they can't handle competition. That's right. And it also made women, you know, seem like they're only good for one thing and one thing only, which is being baby factories. Mm -hmm. um, but she got a lot of criticism for it. Okay, and now she's doing a little. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Awesome. Okay. So originally she wrote the following. Contrary to what feminists like Hannah Rosen, author of End of Men, say, the so-called rise of women has not threatened men. It has pissed them off. It has also undermined their ability to become self-sufficient. In the hopes of someday supporting a family, men want to love women, not compete with them. They want to provide for and protect their families. It's in their DNA, but modern women won't let them. Yeah, okay. poor men, poor men. The way that we're just getting bossed around by these women and uh, well then it, aren't men not men anymore? Isn't that the real problem? Anyway, so okay. wh what's her new uh, backpedal? Um, so she basically says that uh, all I can say in my defense is that it can be so hard when you write as much as I've written. Three books, articles, blogs. You think you have That's said... That's funny because I've never heard of a single <laughs> one of them. She's a social critic, please. Uh, you think you have said something, but you haven't. It's like I'm thinking something and I am so clear about it and I think what I have said is that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that much about it. Okay, now <laughs> I don't know what she said. <laughs> that was the weirdest backpedal ever, but it was her way of responding to the critics and saying basically, yeah, I didn't really put too much thought into it, so sorry. Yeah, it, what's awesome is that she's like, look, I've written three books and I write all the time for a living, and so don't take anything I write seriously. <laughs> That's what like, it sounded like. Because like, I don't know what I'm writing, and sometimes I think I'm saying something, but it turns out I'm saying the opposite, mm -hmm. so my bad, ignore everything I've ever written. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was not a great defense mm -hmm. of your, not only your position, but your profession. Definitely, I agree. Um, and I like that she got enough criticism where she felt like she needed to respond. Mm -hmm. Because usually if you get a few mean comments here and there, you just kind of move on. But it means that a lot of people didn't like her op-ed, and I love that. Because her op-ed, as I mentioned a million times, was so freaking insulting to everyone. Okay, yeah. society's changing. The fact that we're not obsessed with getting married immediately is not a negative thing. It's a positive thing. No, no, what I love about that apology is it was basically her saying, yeah, okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> That's how it could be summarized. Yes.